The vibrant artwork of Rapidmon X, showcasing high-energy action and the use of armed arms, is prominently featured on a Digimon card. Created by Asmaria, the illustration captures the essence of Rapidmon X, employing various pod weapons, reminiscent of the Dragoons in Gundam Seed Destiny. Notably, Asmaria provides insight into the scene, mentioning that Rapidmon X swaps both hands for Arms G, firing the laser Gatling arm, while the remaining Arms B engage in remote shooting. Digimon 15 Second Analyze Featuring Ankylomon An armored dragon Digimon completely covered in hardened skin. Tough protuberances cover it all over, giving its charge attack incredible destructive power. It uses its special move, Tailhammer, to ferociously beat the enemy with the iron ball on the tip of its tail. Any Digimon hit by this technique has its entire skeleton, or wireframe, utterly obliterated. Licensing Global, a publication dedicated to licensing, made a reference to the 25th anniversary of Digimon Adventure in its recent December issue. The Senior Director for Global Marketing at Toei Animation, Lisa Yamatoya, acknowledged the approaching anniversary in the context of recent successes in anime like One Piece. While there's no concrete news yet, the mention raises speculation about potential announcements or a major marketing push for the 25th anniversary in 2024. With 2023 coming to a close and the formal anniversary in March, there's anticipation for upcoming announcements, possibly in the early part of the year. This week, there's a new Digimon set to enter the testing server of the mobile game, Digimon New Century. There's a mysterious Digimon introduced as holding a high tower with a name yet to be revealed, a skill involving protection from a pagoda for teammates, and an origin tied to data from a Chinese warrior's biography. Its skill involves protecting teammates, excluding oneself, from fatal damage via the pagoda. A pagoda is a tiered tower or temple typically with a broad, sloping, tiled roof and overhanging eaves that originates from China, Japan, Korea, and other Asian countries. They are often made of wood or stone and have multiple levels, each level decreasing in size as you go up. The design of a pagoda symbolizes the spiritual journey of enlightenment, and the number of levels can vary from three to over a dozen. Pagodas are often found in Buddhist or Taoist temples and are seen as a symbol of peace, harmony, and balance. Some pagodas contain relics or statues of Buddhist figures. The idea of a guardian-type Digimon with a connection to ancient Chinese history and a cool protective ability does sound very interesting and original. The inclusion of this pagoda ability is a unique touch, too. It adds a layer of mystique and intrigue to the Digimon. The details suggest the character is based on the mythological figure Li Jing. Li Jing is a popular figure in Chinese mythology, said to be the commander-in-chief of the Celestial Army. He's known for being a powerful warrior and exorcist, and he's often depicted carrying a tower that's capable of trapping demons and evil spirits. He's also associated with the Chinese god Erlang Shen, and is often depicted as his faithful follower and companion. In addition to his supernatural powers, Li Jing is also said to be a skilled strategist and military leader. Li Jing's story is a doozy. He starts out as the commander of the Shang Dynasty army, but his son Neja is a bit of a troublemaker. He has magical powers and ends up causing trouble with the Eastern Sea Dragon King. To save Neja, Li Jing has to sacrifice him, but Neja, being a brave and selfless son, offers up his own flesh instead. This leaves Li Jing feeling guilty, and he burns down a temple to atone for his actions. After Neja is reincarnated, he comes back with even stronger powers, and Li Jing becomes afraid of his own son. That's when Wenshu Guangfa Tianzun steps in and helps Li Jing learn the Golden Tower art to subdue Neja, earning him the title Pagoda Bearer. 
The pagoda is the key to the whole story. The golden tower art that Wenshu Guangfa Tianzun teaches Li Jing involves the use of a magical pagoda, which is basically like a multi-tiered tower. This magical pagoda can be used to trap evil spirits and supernatural beings like Neja. When Li Jing uses it on his son, it basically calms him down and allows Li Jing to gain control over the situation. It becomes a symbol of Li Jing's redemption and his newfound respect for his son's power. The pagoda represents a turning point in their relationship and serves as a reminder that even the strongest of beings can be tamed with the right approach. In Digimon Seekers Chapter 3.12, spoilers coming up. The narrative unfolds with the discovery of large-scale codecracker activity in the digital world, particularly at the Wall Slum. Satsuki reports on the extensive nature of this operation involving 100 to 200 code crackers. The video depicts OC leaders Digimon launching an all-out attack on the wall slum led by Tartarus. The code crackers are heading toward the gateway at the center of the wall slum, turning it into a war zone. Sealsdrumman's partner describes the chaotic situation with gatekeepers trying to fend off the codecracker Digimon and residents of the Wall Slum in motion. Some of these Digimon have developed an interest in humans, while others have established social connections within the Wall Slum. Despite their diverse backgrounds, the shared motivation among them is a strong desire to return to the home they once knew. Yulin learns that the charismatic Tartarus is uniting disparate factions within the Wall Slum. Doramon, affiliated with Sosi, is believed to be the Digimon leader uniting the districts. Yulin, now part of the police force, sees her priority as arresting Sosi affiliated code crackers to prevent interference in the digital world. As the battle intensifies, Doramon and Kosuke prepare for a showdown against the encroaching cargo Dramon formation. Kosuke observes that the cargo Dramon are searching for them prompting Doramon to digivolve for a decisive confrontation. Kosuke expresses determination to reunite with their partners and set a trap for Yulin and Ryudamon. The chapter ends with Kosuke expressing his resolve to find the Black Agumon, Seiya's partner Digimon. Wow, things are really heating up. We should totally have an anime for this. When Kosuke says... Let's take this ending back to the beginning to Doramon. It might be a nod to Omegamon. You know, since Omega symbolizes the end and Alpha the beginning, and Alphamon is Doramon's Mega. Imagine a rematch of Omegamon versus Alphamon like in Digimon X Evolution. It might be a bit cliche, but I'd still love it. <laughs>